What's up YouTube, Dazwell Beats back with another video. If this is your first time to the channel, as always, welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat. All right, today what we doing is I'm going to run through uh, Melody Sauce, show you, um, you know, how to use it. You know, little steps and little tricks that you can use to, to you know, make it do top notes for you. All right. So let's go, man. Let's get it. That's what we're doing today. All right. Melody Sauce. Let's go. All right, first we're gonna make a chord progression. Let's go. I like to move my notes around. The middle ones, we can either push them up or push them down. Alright, so I like that. Now let's go ahead and bring in um Melody Sauce 2. Alright, so we have Melody Sauce 2 right here, right? So let's go over the functions. So the chord, the notes that I just played was in um C major. So right here, whatever your 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 progression is at in C major. Whatever your progression is at, no matter if it's C major, whatever, whatever, G minor, A minor, whatever, right? I like to make my progression first. When I'm making a beat, 90% of the times I'm making my chord progression first, right? So when I make my chord progression, then I'll use Melody Sauce to go ahead and give me some top notes, right? So my beat is in C major. So we leave it on C major, right? Now you can either change the speed of your top notes. You can either make it slow, you can either make it fast or medium, right? So let's start with, with fast for now. And the length, you can make it, the length, all right, so the length will be, say you have four bars, right? The length will be throughout the four bars. If you put it on, on the middle one, it'll go, it'll make a loop from one to three and then loop it again from three to four if you put it on the the smallest one which is this one it'll make a loop here and that same loop will get doubled here that same loop will get doubled here that same loop will get doubled here so that's how they break it down all right now we're gonna leave it on the full four bars right there all right now the octave if it is you want it to stay in the the um the middle C, the middle of the keyboard, or go up an octave. So I, I, it's my top notes, so I like to go up, use this one right here, right? Now, you know the groove is the triplet or the swing. So we're going to leave it on none for now. Once that's on none, now we're in the middle. The free, to use the free, you can't change it right here. You have to change it over here, right? The sounds. If you want style, then you can change the sound here. I don't know why, but that's how they have it. And the style, you only can use one, the middle, the middle um, pad to create the melody. Don't know why, what's that about, but whatever. So we're going to use style first, right? So I'm going to show you how to use style. You can either use a simple, complex, or all, right? Light, extra, or all. The way to get, they, they designed it for you to use it is if you want a simple light, you will have to hit this button. If you want a, a light complex, you have to use this button. So as, see, you move over and then complex is here. So wherever light and complex meet, that's the button that you, if you want a complex light meet, um, light 
top notes, that's where you go. If you want a light or both simple and complex mix, you'll come to this one, right? Same thing. If you go down here, if you want a dark simple, you come to this one because the dark and the simple meets here. Dark, simple. If you want the complex is the dark, complex is the middle one. Same thing. Go over here. Then if you want all, simple all, complex all, this is where it meets here to here. This button right here. So it's like a longitude and a latitude to meet up wherever you wanted to go, right? So if you say, let's make a complex dark. Complex, dark, where they meet is right here. Hit that. That's a complex dark melody. Let's listen to what that sound like. So you see the loop is only they looping one and two and looping it at three and four. So if we make it longer, now listen to it now. See, it's different. Now, if we wanted to bring it an octave down, we'll come here. Let's do triplets and see what that sound like. All right, and then let's do swing, see what that sound like. So we'll leave it back on none. And now if we wanted to um, change the sound for the free, remember you have to come over here. Change it from uh, the bell. Uh, let's do a guitar. Let's do a guitar. So that's basically how you use it. Now, if you want to go to, that's how you use the free. Remember, if you want complex dart, let's pick another one. Let's say all in all. So all meets here and all meets here. Let's select one right there. Then you see it made it another um, top note for me. So let's go ahead and play that. Right, that's dope now let's go here and do the um the short loop and see what happened see it's looping just one bar two bars same thing in the three so that's how I do all right, so that's style, right? Now we're gonna try, um, that's free. So now we're gonna check out style. Everything over here will be the same, right? Only difference with style is you only can use one uh, pad in the middle, right? And then you can change the, the genre of, the, of, the, of what you're making. Say you're making a hip hop, R&B, EDM, whatever house techno pop reggaeton so these chords sound r&b to me so we're going to go to r&b and we're going to do uh what's this let's use the r&b marimba and let's hear what that sound like we just click this and it created so right here let's go to play
let's bring it up active Let's drop it down the octave as soon as it go back around. We're going to drop it. We're going to drop it even lower and see what that sound like. Drop it again. So... This is dope, man. I like it, man. All right. So not only that, you can add reverb, delay, and chorus effect to whatever sound you want to make. You can add harmonize to it. So let's go back to melody two right here. And let's add a um, harmony to it, the mid. Let's go. Let's do low. This one, not sure what it is, but let's add it. And let's go ahead and add a high one to it. Then you can turn it off. Add chorus. So that's basically it. Um, but that's it in a nutshell, man. That's it. All right. Catch you in another video, man. Tony up. Let's go.